I kind of think that videos on unboxing are kind of a little bit weird, but I figured I'd do one because I don't think I've ever done one before. So. These DeWalt White knives are really good. My buddy bought me one once and I liked it so much I bought at least one or two more. They stay sharp for a long time and easy to use and all that kind of stuff. These things are processed. It says so in the box. The remote, I guess. And I did a lot of research on wenches, but I haven't really. That's the part that goes on the. I can't remember. They call this a. Uh, crap! It starts with an F. I can't remember. I think it's an F, but. Anyway, I'll have to update that when I do the edit the video. All the hardware in here. Maybe not all the hardware, but quite a bit of the hardware. I want to make sure that you have enough stickers. You might there's more in case you in case five weren't enough, you can get another one. Something's wrong with my neighbor's horn, I guess. Two doors down, I'm telling you. It's a circus. Oh, and there she is. Let's see if I can lift this bad boy out of there. That's pretty cool looking. So this is the synthetic rope. So that is the reason I ultimately went with the Sherpa was because it offered synthetic rope at a reasonable price where the worn wench, which was the Xeon 10-S, did not offer the synthetic rope at a good price. It was actually cheaper than what I paid for this to get the worn, but it would have come with steel, which would have just created a, a heck of a lot of weight, plus the whole safety value or safety issues with that too, which I don't think are that big a deal. I think the weight is, is more of an issue than than the safety issues. I'm not saying that safety is not important. I'm just saying that, you know, I don't think that steel cables like routinely fail all the time. I think people use them for a long, long time. And, you know, since this has come out, the makers of synthetic rope, I think have really pitched that as a, you know, really good thing to have and really safe thing to have. So they've the marketing on it has been pretty good, I guess, is what I would say. But the only cool, uncool thing about this is these things aren't covered. But I will actually get a full cover, you know, that will go over this and shouldn't have any issues. So you won't generally see the winch that I have once I get it installed. And I have to wait for JCR's, JCR Off-Roads uh, winch bumper mount for the modular bumper for the Bronco. And then also I got a little Baja bar. And I'll talk a little bit more in detail, but the Baja bar that you get from JR, JCR is actually doesn't cover the Bronco emblem or the Bronco letters across the grill like Ford's does, which I think is kind of lame that Ford makes it and they didn't think to not go across and through the, the Bronco letters, which I think are kind of cool looking. I think that's what makes the Bronco partly Pretty cool is the stance it has, the type of grill it has. 
squared off look and then the fact that it says Bronco across the grill. That's neat, I think. And the JCR, they're, their uh, bar doesn't go up quite that high. It's high enough to clear this. And I guess this will go on the JCR uh, wench mount, like right, right about there. And then I think the, the bar comes up to like here or something like that. So, and, uh, but you'll see that eventually I'll do an install video or maybe I won't, I don't know, but I will do a showcase video. So this all together, I think was just under $1,300. There were no taxes and it was free shipping. So effectively it was probably cheaper than the Warren with the steel cable because I would have had to pay taxes on the Warren. And I think shipping was free on the Warren as well. But I guess with Australia, there was gonna be they had duty-free shipping because of a free trade arrangement between uh, the two countries or something like that. It's the way they explained it. So, um, uh, well, you know, uh, unless I get a tax bill later from customs somehow. Well, I guess we'll find out about that. But I will start reading this, going over this instruction manual, owner's manual, and try to figure out a little bit more about it and make sure I have a 650 cold cranking amp battery which I probably do. I think they generally come with something like that. Of course, by the time I upgrade, I'll probably get like an 800 or 850 as an aftermarket deal. But anyway, this is what it looks like. And they, of course, they give you plenty of stickers. So I will pick it up, uh, pick this up in another video when I end. So I got this all packaged up, was going through the book and I found yet another Sherpa wenches sticker. So clearly, one, two, three, four, five, six. They want you to showcase or sport their logo and product information so other people can see it. So here's what I would say, this is where Sherpa messed up, at least in that category, if you're somebody from Sherpa is listening to this video, which is probably unlikely, but certainly it might have, might occur. They make a wench cover that you can get that has the Sherpa logo and emblem on it and all that kind of stuff, which is all really cool. Here's the problem though, Sherpa, you charge $89 for that. It's a $12 bag. Like I can pick it up anywhere else for 12 bucks. And so it's hard for me to like, even expensive ones are like 40 or 50 bucks. So you're charging $87 for people to like showcase your equipment when really maybe you should give them the uh, cover or at least give it to them at cost so then your equipment can be showcased elsewhere. Like when I drive around the Bronco after this is installed, it will always have a black bag on it, wench cover bag, that doesn't have any Sherpa or anything else emblem on it, okay? It'll just be a regular black cover that goes over. So no one will know there's a Sherpa wench under here. So that's not very good advertising for you guys, if you guys are concerned about that, which this kind of says you are, you know? I don't know. Maybe not, but that's what it seems like to me. So save the money on this, which well, probably won't be that much, but and then give or at least charge a reasonable amount for your wench covers with your name on it, and then more people will know that other people have, that there's another selection that people can make instead of buying Chinese wenches, or in case they're too cheap like me and don't wanna buy a worn wench for 15 or $1,600. So just, just thought I might throw that out there. And, you know, if you guys are concerned about stuff like that, maybe take that into account. Anyway, if you like this video, hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, you could subscribe, learn a little bit more about the Bronco or the Flex or the F-150. Thanks for watching. Bye.